happy belated International Women's Day. We checked out Cap Marvel. It was super women empowered. Yes. She is, uh, it's pretty good from Vish's point of view. Not so good from my point of view. What was the, uh, what was the DC version of this? Wonder Woman? Yeah, Wonder Woman. I think we concluded that Wonder Woman was better than this movie. Yes. Yeah, but still, check out, check out the little correlation we made. And, uh, enjoy. Our review. Yeah. Our opinions. Yes. Here we go. Two, one, boom. Happy International Women's Day. Yesterday. Yesterday. How do we celebrate International Women's Day, Vish? Representing by watching Captain Marvel. Which is uh, probably the most pro-woman movie I have ever seen. Mm-hmm. Actually, well... Maybe, maybe there's actual pro woman movies out there, but this is like very uh, accessible. I would say as yeah. a pro woman movie. Right. Uh, but yeah, this is your not your weekly regular scheduled podcast. Where we talk about four things of the week. This movie, is actually a movie review. Movie review. Yeah, where we uh, checked out Captain Marvel yesterday. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It's funny when you watch the earlier shows. And then friggin' we're walking back, and I, I thought it was like one a.m. and I was like, "Whoa, all the stores are open!" But it's like, no, we saw the seven thirty, so it was only like actually nine. Right. Just like a side side thing because usually yeah, yeah, we watch like late late yeah. movies. Thought that was kind of funny, but anyways. So mm-hmm. what we're gonna do is we're gonna score it. We're gonna talk about the movie. And we're gonna rescore it. See if we changed each other's minds. Sure. So Vish, what did you think of the movie? Uh, it's hard for me. Score to Score first. Score first. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know. I know. I'm, I'm thinking. My sc- uh, oh, out of ten or out of five? Yeah, you know, I'm just I'll just say it. It's out of ten, out of ten. Okay, cool. Uh, six point five. Ooh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a three. Okay. <laughs> it felt like it felt like Green Lantern to me, like the old Green Lantern with Ryan Reynolds, like that corniness. Like I don't know if you ever seen it. Yeah, I saw that one. I didn't feel it was that. I don't, maybe, or, or maybe there's something wrong with like IMAX because I remember watching Avengers in IMAX and I was like, oh, this looks so fake. And then I watched it again in like regular and I was like, oh, I get it now. Like it's, it looks better. Like it's almost like IMAX is too. Oh, I like it. Though. Good. Like you can tell that they're wearing costumes. Yeah. I kind of found, but like I didn't see anything with the um, the CGI for Samuel L. Jackson. Like I thought the that CGI, CGI was amazing. All right, let's talk pros and cons. All right, what did you like about the movie? Uh, what did I like? I don't know. I've been mean, seeing, yeah, like in their young self, like that was kind of cool. Like Samuel L. Jackson Coulson and Colson. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That was kind of lame. How spoiler? There's gonna be major spoilers in this uh, podcast, but when major. he scratched his eye, oh, that was so lame, bro. Like that's how. That's how freaking like we all thought like they were like teasing it. Remember he got into the accident and then he had a cut over his eye. Yeah, yeah they kept teasing it. In, and we're in like, the, oh, is that oh, how that, he lost his eye? Right? And then it turned out to just be a cat scratching. It was like, bro, really? That's where you went with that one. Could have been anything. And then he's like, oh, did you actually get your is eye blown out by a scroll? Actual story that's in the comics though. Would they do it like that? I don't know, but it felt so corny. I remember like turning to you multiple times in the movie, being like. This is so corny. Yeah, there were a lot of corny bits, but I think they were trying to meet all aspects of, I don't know. The, Women empowerment? Yeah, and... Uh, like, like it's, a, it's like a children's... That, it's more of like, yeah, more for, for little kids. Little kids and, it was so corny. Like, when, like, uh, she's like, oh, I can't wear these colors, these Cree colors anymore. Oh, crazy spoiler. I thought this was kind of cool. That um, they're actually evil. Yeah. So, like the Kree yeah. were actually so the, evil and they were working for Ronin, who works for Thanos. So, I could totally see how. <coughs> I'm sorry. I could totally see how uh, they're going to bring back Captain Marvel and Captain Marvel's going to know how to defeat Thanos because she worked for Ronin. Or she, her, like, you know. I mean, not for directly, but. Yeah, but, like, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, their, yeah. that was their, like, um, leader. Yeah, the, yeah. In a way. Yeah. yeah. Ronin, the, one of the bad guys for. Thanos Mm -hmm. but she's like super powerful and then she was like and I like how they made the Skrulls actually like good people that was fascinating as well yeah because I don't we never finished reading about them and I just remember they were evil and they were fighting Captain America and stuff but But like if they actually were just looking for their homeland that's such an amazing twist yeah like that was cool but like they 
they f- like filled it with so much corniness. Like I can't wear these Cree colors anymore, and then like pick them for me. And then I was right, like, right. watched like two minutes of her shit, like trying different <laughs> colors. I'm like, come on, bro, really? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, those are little, those are little weird parts. Did you like Ant Man? Yeah, I, like I loved Ant Man. It was so funny. I love Paul Rudd. He's so he's so cool. <laughs> I don't know how. How do you feel about the actress? Uh, it's okay. She's okay. <coughs> yeah, I wasn't I wasn't really feeling it. But I think it's because of the way that she's supposed to act that character, or the way they like she. You know? Is she a comedian? No. No, I just kind of felt like you were trying to be a comedian, but you know it wasn't really working out. Mm-hmm. And then I was actually really trying to analyze like the the body choice that they had because you know like because it's such a women empowerment movie, it's yeah. like what kind of because they're gonna set the tone, right? So it's like what. Mm-hmm. What form of feminine femininity, femininity? Femin- yeah, yeah. Femininity. That, that, that you're trying to like project onto society as a mm-hmm. culture, right? Yeah, now. yeah. So do that's you, the thing I think they felt like all these kinds of. That's what I'm saying. Right? Do, do do you think do you think movies adapt to culture or culture adapts to movies? No, movies adapt to culture. I think it may. It's or maybe it's like symbiotic. It's sometimes, like sometimes, yeah, sometimes, yeah. But yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, is she gonna be like? more of a regular woman type or is she gonna be like model-esque mm-hmm. you know like if you look at uh like if you look at dc's wonder woman yeah she's more model-esque yeah whereas if you look yeah. at like um uh this one cap marvel she's mm-hmm. more like regular i'd say mm-hmm. like she wasn't like overly model model type no yeah yeah no, I, no. I like that they made that choice but let, let's get down to the real facts. We both <laughs> thought she was going to turn out to be a lesbian. <laughs> I like the way they were positioning that movie. But oh, I was yeah. like, I remember what I said. I was like, are they going to make it so woman that they they turn her straight to a lesbian? Like, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, those here? scenes with um, they really tried to make it seem like they were like a couple. Something, yeah. Like you don't really, like back when she said you don't really remember. Like and I was like, and then like they were that. looking to each other like longingly. I was like. <laughs> Like, is this just a friendship? Or or when, like, there was the one scene, this is what made me think that they were together, mm-hmm. was uh, when she was looking at her flashbacks and they he, she pushed her into the bathroom. I was like, are you guys going to fool around in the bathroom? <laughs> like, what? Okay. <laughs> and you're probably listening, you're like, ew, you're so perverted. How do you think about that? No, watch the movie. Like, the way that they positioned this, like, I totally thought they were, like, together. That's what it felt like, yeah. But inclusivity right now, like, you know, the mm-hmm. age of whatever. Yeah, I don't mind it. No, it's fine. It's yeah. fine. It's just, um, I don't know. It, either they wanted to go through show that, or uh, like they were really just hinting at it. Yeah, yeah, they they were like teasing it out. Yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily. I don't know. They didn't want to go full on. Yeah. Risk that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. Yeah. Well, what else do you like about the movie? Uh. I don't know. I liked the the visuals when she actually got. Yeah, yeah. When she got the full superpowers, that was cool. Yeah, that was so cool. All right, remember when he's like, he's like, I told you mm-hmm. one day you would fight me yeah. without your powers. Prove it to me. Prove it to me. I was like, dude, just oh, that shoot was him. the longest scene. Um, like I didn't like. Why waste time? Why? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Right. It, it's like it's like those YouTube videos where like they're trying to hit ten minutes. Yeah. It's like yeah, it yeah, felt yeah, like yeah, one yeah. of those like all right, we didn't really need this in here, <laughs> and then she like shot him. Mm-hmm. But I guess it was like a I don't need to prove anything to you kind of moment. Like I'm my own person. I get like I get the subtleties that you're putting in there, but it's just so corny, just the way they executed it. I did like the graphics though; that was really cool. I I love how the ending bonus scenes were really. Um, they were like, those ending bonus scenes were better than the movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like the way that they did them were sick. Like they were calling Captain Marvel, and then, or, uh, like I said, major spoiler alerts. But like they were calling Captain Marvel, and then they turned around. And she was standing right there. It was like, oh, it's like a horror movie, you know? Right, right, right. She was. That was really was cool. There. Like that was awesome. And then the cat hurling up the the Tesseract. Yeah, that that was then eventually. Is that from the first? Of, uh... I don't remember. Like that, it, that was in the first Avengers. That was what Loki was looking for, right? Oh yeah, 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 true, 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 true. So that connects to a lot of that. I remember. Um, oh, so so she created the Tesseract, the her um, yeah, the, the Cree, Cree woman, Cree doc, um, scientist. Yeah, they realized that. Yeah. 
He was on the wrong side. I, I noticed that it was really on, like, the the olden time stuff. I was like, oh, this is actually relatable to me. Because when they made that joke, like, oh, do you have uh, communication equipment? Before they even showed it, I was like, Radio Shack. And then they showed Radio Shack. I was like, oh, dude. Like, I was thinking the same thing because that's right. the only thing that's at only that thing. time, you know? Yeah, yeah, Blockbuster, yeah. Radio Shack, like all that stuff. And I love how their suits didn't fit. Only now, like, we, we totally take that for granted. We don't think about it. But, like, right now we wear suits that are actually tailor-made. Like, they're fitting, yeah, they're yeah. form-fitting. But back then, suits were, like, baggy. Oh yeah, they didn't fit like the no, 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 bigger, that, you know what I mean? Like, 90s, no. yeah, no, but that was the style though. That was the style, yeah. But I was like, oh man, and uh, yeah, that was the thing with it. This was it brought more nostalgia on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. And I felt with the mid '90s one. I was, ju- I was totally. That's so funny. <laughs> I was gonna say I was like gonna bring up mid '90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one was more like more nostalgic. I remember yeah those blockbuster video stores. I yeah. remember yeah the radio track. I love blockbuster. The, and then, like we we talk about the great '90s of the car, the cartoon '90s, right? Like all the cartoon shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then we forget the one thing that was the worst compared to now was the inter- or the computers or so. Oh, that was so funny! Slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, oh, that was that was pretty funny. That was like a, that wasn't even a corny scene. That was actually really funny because you yeah. can like relate to it. They're like, "What's going on?" Everyone was so <laughs> impatient. It was like it's loading. It was like, right, oh, right. that's brutal. Because they were there. It was funny because yeah, they're more like even though they're supposed to be in the future, they're they're from our like our like from our, our time kind of future yeah, our yeah, kind yeah, of future yeah. like we've got used to all this then remembering like that yeah yeah that was really funny this, yeah. i like that that was really funny actually i didn't like the scrolls i felt like they were corny okay right did you feel that too like when the scroll walked in i was like dude i can't take you seriously at all Mm, yeah, I see what you're saying. And then like, yeah, maybe and then like call back. And you're supposed to be the scientist. It was like, oh man, this is so I, but funny. they were trying to. Uh, but that's, yeah, that, it did feel as you were saying, like the Aquaman comedy, weird comedy bits. I didn't feel I, anything was serious in this movie. I don't even know which one was worse, Aquaman or this one. <laughs> I think they were in my opinion. Bad. In my opinion, this is better than Aquaman. I think. I yeah, but very marginally, like very slightly, maybe. Because, like, Aquaman felt super disjointed. It's like, why are you going to all these places? This one just felt like you're trying to make... Yeah. Actually, this one was better because I like the MCU. So mm-hmm. the things that were added in. Yeah. Like, the little subtleties. You're like, oh, that's cool. That's how that was or mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. Uh, what would you, would you dislike about the movie the most? Or do you guys like mm. anything else? Yeah, that was, I was saying was, like, the... I, I felt like there was no seriousness in her. Yeah, she was too. Who's had, this? Who's this actress? Brie Larson. She won an, uh, I think, an Oscar or something. What? Yeah, that's for what movie? A, uh, room, where they were stuck in a room with the kid. They were locked up. Or whatever. I don't remember. I don't. You probably haven't seen. It. I've seen it though. Okay. So, anyways. But uh, that movie was good. But yeah, like I, I felt like. Maybe the direction was, maybe Poor. she was meant to be like you know all mm, know it all. I don't know. It just didn't. It didn't feel authentic. Yeah. It felt corny. Yeah. It was corny. Yeah, it it did. That's the yeah. That's that was my bits. That like yeah, like there was nothing seriousness about like even when she was okay. So when she when they when Ronan comes right, and then they send those ships, or the Kree goes after like her friend uh-huh. as they left the. You know, in the in the cavern area, and they're being chased by the other Cree person and shooting them. Uh huh. But she was uh, having like fun, like when she was trying to like blow up all the other things. But I didn't feel anything serious, like right. Your yeah, friends yeah, no, at no, risk yeah, here, yeah, yeah, but there was no focus. No re- on... Yeah, no realism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. She wasn't selling the role too well. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah. what I felt. Like I didn't. True. I wanted. Uh, maybe the Avengers Endgame will have a bit more seriousness up for her. But, True, yeah. Um, you know what's weird? Um, with the Avengers series and stuff, it's like we all mm-hmm. – we li- I loved it, right? But when's the last time we rewatched it? There's certain movies you rewatch, like um, The Matrix, yeah. you know? But, like, I feel like even though we liked the Marvel movies – we don't really rewatch them. No, no. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird that we like play so much emphasis on it? Like Batman vs Superman, I loved it. But when's the last time I rewatched it? I've rewatched that one. Oh, okay. Well, 
but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, right? yeah, like, I, I know, I know. Like, have you watched the Avengers series movies again? Like, no. But they were epic. No. It's just weird how that works. It's like, we really like it for its, like, production value, but it's like, I mean, I, replayability it's, is not there. Yeah, no, they don't have that. Even if we buy it, like... But that's not the... That's, they don't care about that, though, right? They want to bring people to the theaters. That's what they want to do. Yeah, I just, I just find... So they got to make it, like, big events that not necessarily someone that people will go back to, right? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't matter about, like, it's all about the first day ticket sales, not about, like, the ongoing revenue. But I'm pretty sure people buy it, like, for their no, kids no, no, and stuff, do, you know? No, no, they do. People buy it. But yeah. it, there's also they got deals with Netflix, so you can also get it on true, Netflix. True, true, so yeah, 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 sure. They make more money that way. So. I think I would rewatch it, like, at a party, and there's nothing else on. It's like, that's just something that everyone will agree upon. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, like, in terms of, like, actually enjoying it enough to... I, I liked it, but it's like... It has no replayability. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're just old now. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, it was just a side thought. And then I was also thinking about there's this guy. Uh, let, me, let me pull up his things and give him a quick shout out because he wrote the funniest comment I had ever seen. Oh. Uh, so I, I posted about the Odyssey. I'd read the Odyssey and I gave it like a one out of five stars. I was going to give it zero, but then I thought that'd be a little too negative. <laughs> you know? So I, I gave it a one. And then the, the dude wrote, uh, He's at Journey Jiu Jitsu, if you want to check out his stuff. Mm -hmm. He wrote, uh, a classic is a book everyone talks about, but no one has read. <laughs> right? And yeah. I was like, that's totally what I keep doing. I like keep pu pushing the boundaries. Like, okay, you said this was a good book. Let's read it. And I'm like, dude, this book sucks. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's like people have so many opinions on books that they've never read. Like The Art of War, right. Bible. Right, yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. Yeah, if they've never read it, then what are you talking about? Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Everyone's got an opinion, just like us. But we actually saw Captain Marvel, so we we can speak yeah. about it. Yes. Yeah. So, anyways, anything, anything else? Mm, I'm more I'm more excited to see the end game now. Like, uh, they because she was so powerful. Yeah, she was like way too powerful. But I like that. I mean, she's definitely gonna. I, kill I, I Thanos. think you need that to do do something to Thanos. Yeah, but. I, I like I think that's where it'll be more like fun to see, I guess. It'll probably she'd be like, All right, sit down, fellas, take a back seat, I'll <laughs> take them out. You know what I mean? Like I couldn't see them she's so powerful, it's like what could Thanos possibly do to you? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is Shazam a Marvel movie or no? No, it's D C. Oh, okay. So we'll we'll say for Shazam. Are you uh, comedy wise? I don't know. Comedy wise, like, I don't know if I like that kind of. Oh yeah, that kind of. I don't know. I don't know. They're, they're, it's. I guess they can't. I don't know. People don't like the superhero movies that are like serious. I just, it doesn't work. I, I love serious superheroes. Like I Dark know, Knight I know, I know, I know. But it doesn't work in the gen pop. In the, in the general public, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, so I I, I see what you mean. Actually, yeah, you're pandering more to the masses. Yeah, you have to. I mean, that's any any business. Yeah, but like Dark Knight, Dark. I didn't know Heath Ledger won an Oscar for that movie. Oh, he won an Oscar. Yeah, I, I, I think so. I I'm pretty sure. I was watching like this YouTube video about like how the new Joker movie is coming out, and they the theory is that he's not actually the real Joker, but he's actually playing a person that the Joker mirrors himself after later. Okay. And so, anyways, yeah. Sorry, that was a side. The note. Joaquin Phoenix story. Yeah, yeah, the Joaquin Phoenix. Oh. But then uh, they were saying that like. Uh, Joker has been played through many adaptions, blah, 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 and mm -hmm. Heath Ledger actually won an uh, Oscar for his portrayal of Joker. I was like, really? I don't remember, but maybe. Yeah, but so, like, serious serious Batman movies are, I mean, those serious Batman movies are really sick, but... You have to have, a, like, a really good story to kind of... Yeah. Cause it, it, yeah, I agree. Because I think when you add these types of superheroes with powers, I guess there needs to be some thing with a bit of comedy actually you know you know what superhero movie i would watch again ant-man okay i'd watch i'd watch that the first ant-man not the second one <laughs> but like but it's because it's got that like light-hearted comedy with action okay yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? right yeah sorry i was just thinking about that because it's like what marvel movie would i watch again <laughs> yeah hmm. sorry you're saying uh what was i saying about there has to be like a little bit of comedy yeah yeah i think with uh, right 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 i think with um the like these types of powers like can you how do you make it 
This like serious. Oh, have you seen that burn? Uh, Bob posted the trailer for it. It's basically a superhero movie. I thought it was a Superman movie, but it turns it like it's like what happened if Superman went wrong. So it's like the alien, and he's actually like a monster. Like humans see him as a monster versus mm-hmm. like. Have you seen it? Burn, burn, mm, burn box or something. Burn box or burn. Or burn or something. I don't know. Actually. I forgot. Bright, 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 burn bright or something. Uh, Anyways, we, you should watch the trailer. It looks super sick. So basically, it's the story of Superman, but instead of being a hero to save the world, he's actually like a monster. Oh, he's still a kid. Like he has like all Superman's powers and stuff. Yeah. It looks like it's Superman, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Don't, don't go in there. You'll find out the truth about who you are." Oh, and it's like a spaceship. He's yeah. an alien, but then like he puts on a mask, and then he's like just killing people. He's like a monster. Hmm. I I would like to see that from a uh, super movie because these because you were talking about how powerful these people are, and it's like, yeah, they're super powerful. Like, how do you write? Yeah. How do you write something that's like? Yeah, you know, I, like, I really don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's tough to. Like, that's why the Batman Superman one didn't work well, because... It's too serious. It's too realistic. I think it was too serious, and, and yeah. yeah. But like, I like that one. Like, when, when you're dealing with, with characters with immense superpowers, yeah. if you're too realistic about it, basically, they just own everyone. Yeah. That's why you may, like, you got to throw in some That's why I think, yeah, that's why, I think you... Batman is, like, these are the things that would work, because... Right. He doesn't have superpowers. He just right, has right, gadgets. Right. He has money. Yeah, money's a superpower. Yeah, so I guess maybe, like only like those types of characters would work out in that context. It's I think it, if it was like basically it's hard to create a relatable superhero <laughs> because like how do you do it? You have nothing in common with them. Yeah, like you have no superpower. Like they're like gods basically. Mm-hmm. So it's like how do you make them relatable? Okay, let's let's throw in some comedy. Let's throw in some drama. Yeah, yeah. You know, but that's why I was saying like with that burn bright. I forgot what it's called, but. Um, that that one, it's more of like they're a demon because like that is how it would actually be. We'd see them as like a monster. We wouldn't actually see them as like. I think Spider Man tried to do that really well, where they saw him as like a antihero. Yeah, you know that was the closest attempt that I can think of, mm-hmm. where he's just trying to do good, but they saw him as like a freak. Yeah, yeah. X Men too, I guess. Uh, mm, yeah, yeah. I, I, th- when they came out, there was reasons when why these. Those comics came out at those times, right? That's true. That's, there's always like there's a also it's like what we said. Like, yeah. does it copy culture? Or does it reshape? Yeah, like culture? like I mean, Superman and stuff was because uh, at the time, like war and people needed a hero, right? Yeah, for sure. So that's where Superman came in. And then that's that's the crazy part about being human. It's like it's all about like it's all about the stories you tell ourselves. That's what really mm-hmm. keeps us going. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, war is happening. Oh, we're so sad. All right, let's create this superhero that, mm-hmm. like, this godlike creature that's going to pull us out of our doom and gloom. Yeah. It's hope. We, we all need hope. Yeah. Humans need hope. And sometimes that's where comics come in or movies or something try to add that. For sure. Right. I'm trying to think of, hasn't, there's been, like, a superhero movie that's been, like, super political, right? Might have been. I don't know uh, which one. I don't know. I can't think of the Avengers Initiative, where they're like trying to like register everyone as a. Okay, yeah. So I guess kind of. That's mm, kind of. Kind of. Kind of. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. How, yeah. How exactly? Yeah, I don't know. I I would say. I would say don't watch this one. <laughs> I was gonna watch it twice because like I promised my sister that I'd watch it again, but it's like. You can't do it. Yeah, I don't know if I could do it again. I'd be like, let's just watch something else. Right. I, I'd say a hard pass on this one. Okay. You don't really need to watch it. You just need that ending scene. Yeah, you just, yeah, exactly. See how it all links together or whatever. <laughs> just YouTube that. I'm sure it's out on YouTube. Probably. Yeah, any any final thoughts on it? Uh, I mean, if you got a... A daughter, yeah, I think that'd be good for her. Yeah, yeah, That's I agree. Like. Actually, yeah, you know what? If you have kids, it's more of a kid movie than an actual more serious yeah. adult movie. I guess that's why I'm saying it's a hard pass because I, I remember, like we were saying before, uh, mm-hmm. like last night we were walking back, um, 
this is one of those movies that when you're a kid, you're like, oh my god, this movie's so sick, and then you watch it again years later when you're an adult, you're like, this is a terrible movie. Mm. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because I remember like a bunch of things that I liked as a kid, and then you watch them now, you're like, oh, this is trash. <laughs> Right, 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 right. So it's probably one of those, like, Power Rangers. Yeah, that was... But the Power Rangers movie adaption that was recent was really good. I liked it. Because they made it more contemporary. Right, right. But I don't know if it did well. I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah, true. I don't know if it did well either. But anyways, yeah, final score? I'm going to stick to the 6.5. Yeah, I'm going to stick to 3. <laughs> yeah, right. I, it didn't go up or down. Like I'm, I'm solid in my. I theory. think yeah, it's, yeah. I don't think we could not influence each other on this one. No, we couldn't. It was just like, I get why you're giving it a higher score. Like I'm just looking at, because I saw it coming in the beginning, or like the way they were talking, what they were talking about. You know, I don't know. I just felt like it was. I see what they were trying to do. Right, right. And then you had already like adjusted your mindset towards that but whereas mm. i was thinking like oh it's gonna get sicker it's gonna get sicker right and the sickness never came <laughs> right you know it's weird like lexicon like if i were to say oh that's pretty si-. i think i said this once because like we went to i, I can't all right uh, just like different cultures mm. and i was like oh that's pretty sick and they're like like cough cough or <laughs> you know it was like oh no it's just like colloquial terms but anyways like dope is another one. Oh, that's pretty dope. You know, like like drugs. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so Slime. final score six point five and a three, which gives us an average score of. So let me do the math. I'm pulling oh. it out right now because okay. I don't actually know how to do math in my head. Mm-hmm. Uh, six. How do you find average? Six point five. Yeah. Plus, plus three. Yeah. Divide by two. Mm-hmm. Gives us 4.75. <laughs> a failing grade. <laughs> a failing grade. Do not waste your money. Just wait for Netflix. Yeah, just wait for Netflix. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's fine. Or if you got nothing to do, you want to support women empowerment, pick up this movie. Right. Would you say it's better than uh, Wonder Woman? Uh, I like Wonder Woman better. I think I liked Wonder Woman better. That was also kind of a toss-up. It was kind of like, uh, I don't know. See, that's what I wonder. All right, all right. It's just like it's just like that comment about the classic that nobody's read. Like, do you think that these movies get overhyped because of what they stand for versus actually being good? I don't like that. I think that's like, it can. That, that can you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like when Wonder Woman came out and everyone was like, freaking on Wonder Woman. They were like, oh my god, it's so sick. I was like. It wasn't that good, but it was just because it was but like I a woman think it lead. Was, yeah, it was the first woman. And then, and then you're gonna watch this movie, and then people, are like, oh, I was so sick. I was like, not really. But then they're like, yeah, but what it stood for. It's like, okay, so its representation in your mind makes it amazing, but the actual, the actual product itself is not very good. Yeah. 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 And they'd be like, oh, it's because you're sexist. It's like, no, it's just. Objectively mm. watching it like a movie, they should have made her a lesbian. Like that would have been awesome, right? Like yo, that's I would have been like thing, yo, that's uh, that's dope. One you thing, guys really stood uh, it. Stood one tall. thing I like they did in the beginning was um, when they, you know how they have the Marvel role, you miss this bit. Yeah, I know. Um, normally it's all the superheroes. Wait, hold right? on, quick pause. I thought I had fifteen minutes. It started exactly at. Oh, it did. Yeah, because I looked at the thing. I was like, oh, there's trailers, but it starts at. Maybe your time was off. I don't know. Or no, did it start at 7.30? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, I thought it started at 7.40. No. Ah, oh, that makes a lot more sense. All right, sorry. I was also I was wondering, why are you going to the thing? That was so dumb of me. All right, yeah, yeah, true, true, true. All right, continue. Mm-hmm. You were saying? Uh, what was I saying? Uh, damn it. The, the, in the beginning. Oh, right, in the beginning. So you missed the, the – normally when the Marvel logo thing comes up. It's, oh, let's talk about Stanley. Yeah, it had, it had all the different uh, – Time Stanley was in Marvel movies. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, instead of the superheroes. So. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So I was like, and then at the end, of, I like that little beginning in the yeah, of that. So um, the Stanley thing, portion so. was very CGI'd. He was oh, on the yeah, train. Was it was like, movie. oh, dude, you like superimposed his face. It was sort of like Fast and Furious. Mm-hmm. Remember uh, when Paul Walker died, and then at the uh, end, they right, gave right. him like, they had, they totally cut him now, CGI'd. He gave like the thumbs up, didn't say anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really hard when like your main actor dies. 
Yeah, that affects. It probably affected that movie a lot. Yeah, true. Anyways, yeah. So what? Next week we got a regular podcast. Yeah, regular. Yeah. Look forward to that. Until Endgame. When does Endgame come out? Not sure. Oh, this is too. Actually, it's kind of poor. Think about it now. Like Battle, Battle Angel was a another women centered movie, and it wasn't very good either. But people didn't focus on. So it at that point, yeah. Because she was a robot. Yeah. But I'm like, this two for two movies that we were super hyped about and they were not good. Not good. Yeah. This has been a poor start to the year. Poor start to Marvel. And no, just movies in general. And, and movies and yeah. So what are you looking forward to? Have you seen Robin Hood yet? The No, I haven't seen that. Is it on Netflix? I don't think so. I wanna watch it. It got such a poor rating I couldn't spend money on it, but I'd watch it if it was on Netflix. Just like this movie. Don't waste your money. Watch it on Netflix. Well, you're wasting money on Netflix, but that's fine. You're wasting, yeah. <laughs> but you already have the membership. It's more like you're wasting time on mm. Netflix. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So next week, regular podcast, we can look forward to what movie you're looking forward to this year. Aside from Endgame. Aside from Endgame. Uh, I don't know what's coming up. <laughs> oh, um, Lion King. This year? Ah, I feel... Yeah, I feel like that's gonna be bad too. Same with uh, Aladdin looks bad. I'm, I'm, I still want to see them, right? No, of course we'll see them, but we're just gonna be like, wow, that's poor. Right. I feel like this is the year of threes. For yeah. review, maybe like ah, oh, it's a three. Ah, oh, it's a three. That's the start. Let's see by the end of the year. What did you give Battle Angel as a score? I don't remember. Did we talk about it last week? I think we did a little. I, I don't know if we added a score. I don't remember now. I will. Right, what score did you give it? I I don't know. Was it a four? No, no. What what do you give it from your recollection? Let's say. I don't remember, but probably like a five, four. I don't know. Right, I don't I give, remember. I give Battle I Angel a two. Okay. Yeah, I was. And then we pull up the old podcast. I give that a ten. You know, like. I don't even know what I gave it, but yeah. just rec- recalling it, it's like it wasn't good. But we didn't really talk about it. Yeah, actually, true. no, we didn't do it. Do it. Did we? Do it? I don't remember, but don't watch that movie either. Yeah. All right. Not a good start for female leads. Yeah, and movies in general this year. From, yeah, from guys who are talking about this. <laughs> yeah, it's true, yeah, so. yeah. You guys are sexist. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Just trying uh, to give her honest opinion. Yeah. So, all right, so till next week for entertaining topics. Yes. Take it easy. Peace.